Super Mario Bros. Wonder is a certified Switch masterpiece and probably the best 2D Mario ever made. This game is jam-packed with exciting and unique ideas, and if they added any more to the game, it probably would have exploded into a $70 price tag. And 1,000 YouTube videos answering the question, is this game too expensive? Wonder might be the biggest surprise for me this year, and there have been a lot of great surprises. But Wonder does something special those games didn't really do, except far. for Hi-Fi Rush a little bit. It makes me feel kind of like a big old kid again in the best way possible, and no purity is a plus. The game reminds me of those times I would sit around and draw weird monsters on a piece of paper and give them strange voices, kind of like the piranha plants in this game. Or just simply hanging out with friends playing co-op Mario in the basement until my mom started nagging us to go outside. This game just oozes creativity and it's a visual joy. I know a lot of people initially made fun of the game for leading into the trippy vibes even though Mario's been eating shrooms for years, but I actually liken the experience a little bit more to a sugar rush of ideas and non-stop dopamine. Once you start snacking, you just can't stop, and eventually you hit critical levels when you snack on one of the wonder flowers. From there, all hell breaks loose, and my brain doesn't know up from down and east from west. That being said, Mario Wonder is an excellent addition to the Switch catalog in a near-perfect spin on 2D Mario games, which the series really needed. The last time I enjoyed a Mario game was probably one of the SNES games, and most other gaming series have come and gone since then. That was a whole Game Boy lifetime ago. And the new Super Mario series never did it for me, except for the mini games. Out of the way, Luigi, I'm dealing now. But they always lack the charm of the older games, and Wonder fixes all of that, and I couldn't be happier for it. Regardless, let's get into the rest of the game as I want to talk more about what makes this game so dang special. Bowser is doing some heinous as usual, it's kind of his thing, and you need to butt slam his child to gain his respect. You go around the six worlds with some extras, collecting some big ol' royal wonder seeds to wreck Bowser's new airship, which is actually just him turning into an airship. I don't know, it's a little weird, but hey, they made a talking caterpillar their prince. Not surprised. The other new characters are typical Mario characters and not insulting enough to warrant any criticism, unlike with some other games. <coughs> Need to get that redundant character off the screen. But in the end, most of it is a load of mumbo jumbo, and hey, if you've never read a book before, you might enjoy it. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention the flower. He's your little helper dude slash comic relief. He's hilarious and has more charisma and charm packed into each petal than probably any other Mario character in recent memory. I really hope he returns in the future in some way. I love watching waterfalls. Leave me to my waterfalls. But that's enough of the story, let's move on. I think the first thing everyone noticed about this game is just how beautiful the new art design works. Especially on the old OLED Switch. Every world has a downright beautiful color palette and its own theme from Minecraft to Magic Hand. It's not just the elaborate backdrops though that have this level of detail, because the characters and animations for the crew and enemies are on a whole nother level. Mario has never been so expressive and charming. He's got me a little bit flustered with his little dancing swagger after every victory. Yet from the beginning to the end, this game is a visual treat during the calmer moments traversing the overworld to the tripping wonder flower scenarios. It's just great and I already wish I could experience it for the first time again. This game has some stellar music as well. Nothing I'd listen to on my own probably, but I had a little analysis paralysis trying to choose background music. All these are great reasons to play the game, but the gameplay is arguably the most important for a Jumpman game, and it's no slouch here either. One of my favorite things about the design of this game, I think it took from some of the 3D games, and that's giving you the option to choose which level you want to tackle next. I just love choosing my own demise. But because of this, I never got stuck on the harder levels trying to pass it for hours and hours. If something got annoying, I could always move to another. I think that's true across the board as you collect Wonder Seeds. I felt a lot less hand-holding or forcing. It was a much more open experience. But when you do want a little bit of a more difficult experience, there are definitely some challenging ones in there. 
I mean, if you're a Mario Maker champ, then probably not that hard, but if you're just a normal, casual Mario fan like me, there are some pretty hard levels that will make you want to throw your controller at the screen. One of my favorite games is Mario Odyssey. I love all the freedom and exploration that game had, and I think Wonder learned a lot from the positive reception to that game. There are so many secrets around the overworld and in the levels themselves to discover, much like the 3D Marios. To be honest, most of the gameplay and movement for Mario does not change at all at a base level, but this time you have a choice to choose between a couple badges which change a certain attribute to Mario's movement. Personally, I had a few favorites throughout the experience, but don't worry High Jump, you'll find someone to love you. I think the more exciting thing for me will be to see how the pro streamers and speedrunners use this in the future. I cannot wait to see what the cool kids cook up for this one. The new power-ups are also a nice addition, especially the Elephant Mario. I love that fat fuck. They change up the gameplay a bit, as usual, but, you know, they have some fun animations to boot as well. Only criticism there is it feels like there's not many power-ups this time around, and I'm an American, I always like more. The most impressive part for me about Wonder is, without a doubt though, the Wonder Flowers hidden in the levels. These bring a breath of fresh air and innovation to every level from changing somewhat minor things like raining down star power-ups to changing the entire perspective and gameplay of the level. I don't know where these wonder flowers are coming from, but Tom Nook it has been real quiet lately. These are the highlight of my experience for me. Without these, Wonder would probably be a solid 9 out of 10 platformer, but I don't know, not being a huge Mario game, I probably wouldn't be as into it, and these really sold me on the game. But with their inclusion, I think it takes the game and genre to whole new levels. Other games have definitely played around with the 2D formula a bit, but Nintendo came in and knocked them all out of the water. It's just a fantastic game. There's also some online and multiplayer functionality as well, which honestly I didn't experiment too much with. It's definitely fun to see where others fail and I succeeded. I thrive watching the little children squirm trying to solve the puzzle levels. And I'm totally not watching them to solve it for me because I am dumb as a Goomba near a ledge. But until I try out a full multiplayer run or something, I probably won't know the true extent of what this game's multiplayer has to offer. Now that I have finished the game though, I gotta say this is my favorite 2D Mario game of all time. Much like Odyssey did in 2017, the quality of life, modern graphics, and polish on this game skyrocketed into new heights. This game is quite possibly the last or one of the last big games on the Switch, depending on how next year plays out for Nintendo. But if so, I am so glad this is the last big new Mario game I played and serious major contender in my eyes for game of the year, or at least the top three. And if this is what Nintendo is capable for 2D Mario, I cannot wait for the next game. Anyway, I hope you enjoy Mario Wonder and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, Blummers.